guys, Ranger Nick, uh, Discraft Underground Team Plastic Addicts, PDGA 49584. Got a short video, it's been a while. Um, I got in a new uh, toy here. It's the uh, Rovic Disc Golf Cart. Uh, it's a cart that you hang your bag on. It's very similar to a uh, ball golf uh, push cart, uh, but it's been modified specifically for disc golf. I'll do a short little uh, close up, show you some of the features and functions. And then I'll do a little clip showing you how it, uh, you take it apart and put it together. I've used it on one round so far, so not a whole lot of use. But uh, the course I used it on had some kind of tricky areas that normally uh, I wouldn't want to take a card on. And it did great. Uh, it's an awesome card. I'm looking forward to using it. So let's take a look at some of the details. So here's close up. There's the handle. It's got a little holder right here. This is my uh, leather scorecard holder I don't use them much these days but this is my little leather holder made by uh my friend russell parker uh loads some charlies does some awesome leather work they do minis all sorts of stuff but there's a place to put your scorecard your scorecard holder there's the name of the cart rovic it's the company r v 1d made for disc golf a lot of folks see this and think it's a ball golf cart that i've rigged up but i have it um, done that before it works, but not as well as this does. This has been modified for disc golf uh, Right at the top here Got the handle uh, This is where the umbrella holder Goes in y'all probably seen something like this before There's a little place down here where it clips in Try to do that without There we go. It just clips right in there on the side There's a velcro that you can use to keep this from falling off or you can use it for the umbrella and then right below it I couldn't find a video that showed this really well anywhere else there's this little uh, strap that the bottom of your umbrella goes in so you've got your umbrella uh, it has these oversized cup holders this does fit my 32 ounce Yeti tumbler in it uh, it'll fit a large Nalgene it also fit your uh, Proline disc golf um, with your Discraft stickers, mandatory Discraft stickers. Fit your little coffee cup there. One nice thing about that, you know, carrying your bag around on your backpack and you're walking around and hiking, bouncing around, coffee will spill out of here and go all over the place. Now I don't got to worry about that. Got my cup holder. Um, right here, you've got the brake. And it's real simple. Flip it down to turn the brake on. Flip it up to turn the brake off. Easy as it gets. Um, these are the little hooks that suspend the bag. They have these quick release levers to make adjustments. And you notice the bag suspended from the handle. So it doesn't mess up the straps. I hung it from the straps the first time by mistake and went back and saw in the video that you're supposed to use this handle, which is much more durable. You don't worry about getting like these hard creases in your backpack straps. And then down here at the bottom, some of the features like this, this is where your ball golf bag would be sitting, but they've left it there because by design, it naturally works as a mud flap. Now, Rovit calls it a mud flap, but, and it does work as one, but I mean, that's where you're supposed to set your bag. Um, they've modified where the bottom of your straps would go around your bag. They've put these other straps. I'll show you those in a second here, but basically those secure to your bottom of your backpack straps. This secures to the top of your backpack straps. And there's a hook right in here. I'm trying to, there you go. So that hook down there, your sternum strap goes around. And so your bag is solid. It's not going anywhere. Uh, I hauled this thing up a pretty decent hill in San, in San Antonio and nothing fell out, nothing rattled. It pushes really well, it's balanced well. The brake works, it's a great cart. I'll take it apart and show you how it folds back up and I'll unfold it again. Today when you take this thing apart, you can leave the cup holder on, just take out whatever you got in it. You do have to take off the umbrella, just undo the strap, pull that out, set your umbrella aside. Um, this really can stay on here, so I'm going to leave it on here. Next thing you do is you come in the back and unclip that sternum strap that I showed you. That just unclips, let that hang. On the bottom here, these straps that are holding the backpack on, they have a release clip. There's just one little clip there to release 
that strap. Same thing on the other side. Just loosen it up. It's a quick release. If you ever used a NRS strap, it's just like, very similar to the way an NRS strap works. And these are the two hooks that come off. And these are just looped around your, uh, the bottom part of your backpack strap. They're just hooks. And it has a, uh, a little strap here that you pull and it stays tight when you pull it. You just press this little button here to release it. So that's what keeps the bag sturdy on the bottom. There's the sternum strap and these two hooks. And on the top, real simple, you just lift your bag off. There you go. So there's the cart. Try to get the whole thing in the picture here. So you've got the whole cart. Take these two straps and just, you don't have to even tighten put them around this hook here. There you go. I tighten them a little bit just because I don't like to have things hanging. So I'll tighten them down. Not snug, just to where they're not going to fall off real easy. And you take the side here, there's a little green tab, flip it open. That whole thing folds down and lock it shut. Real simple there. Take these right here. There's these two little flip tabs here that allow you to push these hooks all the way in. Lock them in place. Real easy. And you've got, I don't know if probably you can see it on that side, I'll flip it around again. You've got a green button right here and a green button right here. So at first you do this green button, and you just press it in and push the cart down. That's it. You push that down, and that kind of locks in place. You push this other green button, that folds the other wheel under, flip that up. That's it. You're done. It is that compact. I drive a, uh, a Jeep Wrangler with only two doors. I can fold forward my front seat and this will fit into the back seat with just folding my front seat forward without even sliding. So it's been great so far. Um, really easy to put back together. Has a little tab here, it says pull. Just pull on that while holding the bottom. Opens right up. You'll make sure you don't pinch your straps there. That's why you gotta have them hooked in place. There we go. So that locks in place. Press the button to get the other wheel to fold out. Folds out. Put down your mud flap. Flip your switch. Put this in place. Lock it back. Take your two strap hooks. I know about where they need to be now there. Move these hooks out of the way. Take the bag. Set it on there. Get the straps positioned how you want them. There you go. Hook. Goes up here like I was saying, back behind your shoulder straps, right where your shoulder strap meets your bag. A little quick pull to cinch it down. Same on the other side. Just take it over. Hook it in. Cinch it down. It's got these little tabs here to hold your excess strap. Keeps from getting tangled up in anything. Extra little added detail. And then the last thing you do is you take that sternum strap right there. There you go. Flip it together. on that hook there.
that's it. Ready to go. Put back in your coffee. Hit the course. That's the Rovic. Rovic RV 1D disc golf cart. You can get them online at uh, Sun King over in uh, Florida. Uh, you can get it from Rovic, uh, PAS Disc Golf, and a few other retailers. But I'm liking it so far. One of the best parts about this cart, one of the reasons I went for it, is it's very similar to the Click Gear, the CLIC Gear brand, and the parts are interchangeable. So whenever I need to go get a replacement part, if one of the wheel cracks for some reason because I do something crazy or when I want to get the seat attachment that does, they do make for this. I can go to my local sporting goods store that sells golf carts like this. If I could buy them off the shelf, get them on Amazon, wherever else. It's not hard to find replacement parts like you would if you were trying to get a uh, ball golf cart and convert it over. Just on the shelf. Great cart. Highly recommended so far. That's all I got. Ranger Nick, Discraft Underground, Team Plastic Addicts, 49584. Have a nice day.